Okay, everybody, welcome back. Today we have another amazing occult title. Franz Barden's Initiation into Hermetics. Can pause that and read the back of that. I'm going to show you the table of contents, then I'll get right into our brother Franz Barden. It's a good picture of Franz right here. This uh, Initiation to Hermetics is a wonderful book just in the sense that this is a complete system of magical training. So, Franz Barden has wrote about three titles and these are not anything new, but they are rare. So, if you look at when this was written, Let's see if I can find it quick enough. Um, nineteen fifty six, nineteen sixty two, nineteen seventy one. Those look like some of the earliest dates. Nineteen sixty two. Um, you know that was probably towards the end of his life when these were published. So anyway, Franz Barden is a special person. He was actually kidnapped, or should I say, not kidnapped, but forced to go into the Nazi concentration camps and was able to survive by showing that he had the skill to practice magic. So it's an interesting story. Um, the only work that I don't have is his work on the Kabbalah. which I definitely want to uh, break into and read. But anyway, let's take a good look at the table of contents. It'll give you an understanding of why I think this book is a good book, well-rounded uh, training manual for occultists. So, table of contents, forward to the first German edition. So originally this book was written in German by Franz. Forward to the second, introduction, picture, the elements. Initiation 1, Theory, Elements, Principle of Fire, the Principle of Water, the Principle of Air, the Principle of Earth, Light, the Akasha and Etheric Principle, Karma, the Law of Cause and Effect, the Human Being, the Body, Dire, the Occult Anatomy of the Body, Physical Material Plane or the Physical Material World, the Soul or Astral Body, the Astral Plane, the Spirit, the Mental Plane, Truth, Religion, God, Asceticism. This is an almost 400 page book, keep in mind. So, instead of reading every section, I'm going to tell you about the chapters. It's Practice of Magic is Initiation Part 2. So, this book is set up in a way to give you some background, then it gives you some basic training, then in Step 2, more advanced training, then Step 3, so for example... Step two, auto-suggestions and the secret of the subconscious, magic schooling of the spirit, magic schooling of the soul, magic schooling of the physical body. These are very clear instructions and they're very difficult instructions because the exercises are deceptively easy when he uh, goes through them, but they're not. They're very difficult. Section two, auto-suggestion the secret of the subconscious. I think we've already been through that. Section three, introduction, magical schooling of the spirit, magical schooling of the soul, fire, air, water, earth, element, magical schooling of the physical body, room impregnation, biomagnetism. Step four, schooling of the spirit, schooling of the school of the soul, magical schooling of the physical body. Step five, introduction. Magical schooling of the spirit, magical schooling of the soul, magical schooling of the body. So, you know, it is it repeating itself? Yes, it is. Um, as he goes through each section, he's essentially putting layer upon layer of magical um, challenge. So, if you look at the section that I'm reading, <clears throat> this will just be an example the reason I like Franz is he's a philosopher, but he also tells you the exact instructions for gaining such abilities. So, the magical development of astral clairaudience. He gives a 
instruction on how to use eyebright, which is an herb that can be used to uh, awaken your magical sight. Astral clairsentience, the ability to hear. Clair, no, the, the, the clairsentience is the ability to feel spirits. Magical schooling of the physical body. Um, trying to see if there's any diagrams in here. Not a whole lot. You're basically looking at instructions. And in within these instructions are some pretty complex things. How to use herbs, different make different potions. For example, the, pre the preparation of a solid fluid condenser. condenser. A fluid condenser is basically a magically prepared and charged liquid that can be used to anoint uh, weapons. A fluid condenser is basically a general term referring to putting things together to create a magical charge. So a fluid condenser would be used to bless weapons. Practice of clairvoyance with magical mirrors. So that's an example of how deep he goes. Uh, he covers everything. The magical mirror as a gateway to the desired planes. The magical mirror as a communication link between living and departed human beings. Employment of the magical mirror as an aid to contacting powers, beings, etc. The magical mirror as a means of influencing oneself or others. I mean, this is chock full of information. This is probably the most information on magic mirrors of any book I've ever read. The magic mirror is an instrument of emanation of the impregnation of rooms and the treatment of the ailing. Franz Barden was a very talented healer. And one of the reasons he was spared by the Nazis was because of his ability to heal and to cast astrology charts. How to protect against influence, mechanisms of projecting of all energies, power, force, beings, and pictures. The magical mirror as a television set. The magical mirror as an aid to study the past, present, and future. Magical mirror of the soul, conscious separation of the astral body from the physical body. Astral projection, definitely covered. Impregnation of the astral body with the four divine fundamental attributes. Treatment of the sick through the electromagnetic fluid. Magical schooling of the physical body. Magical loading of talismans, amulets, and precious stones. Uh, you could go through this book and just look at the table of contents, skip to that part, and start doing the magic. It's a complete system. You should go front to back. It's going to be lengthy. It's going to be challenging. It's going to be time-consuming. This book is uh, probably one of the top 20 occult reference books that I've ever known about as far as the severity of it. This book is around 35 bucks probably going to pay more like 30 to 40 dollars for it it's a gem you may be able to find it on kindle i don't know i don't care i hate kindle so with that being said what has this book done for me well when i was getting into anakian magic i prepared a potion for clairvoyance using Barden's instructions, and I did start to see spirits. So, I don't think he's bullshitting, friends. <laughs> um, this man was a very, 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 very serious occult philosopher. He was a reincarnation, I believe, of a Hindu god. This man was incredible, had an incredible story. He wrote and contributed incredibly to the occult. He's one of the few who has wrote very few books, but each book is exceptional in its ability to cover the entire subject. I may not agree with his entire philosophy, as it does come from more of a Judeo-Christian uh, Hebrew background, so obviously I'm not uh, 
the biggest Christian in town, but I have a great appreciation for the Christian magicians. Um, a lot of magic is born out of those um, principles. So the Magi and magic are hand in hand. This is uh, another book that I'll be reviewing in the next review. Stay tuned for Franz Barden's The Practice of Magical Evocation. This book is an instruction manual that goes beyond hermetics, initiation into hermetics, and these two standalone books, if you were to get these two alone, read them and practice the magic in success, in, inside, you would, uh, you would not be disappointed. So, I hope that that was uh, informative. The sigil just popped out of the book. This is a sigil from his evocation book that I apparently was working with at one time. It's funny, when I open books, I find the magic that I was interested in. Sigils I created, and I just leave them in the book. I don't know why. So anyway... Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I, of course, I recommend all the books that I review, but at the same time, if I'm going to have criteria and say what's worth spending your money on and what is most practical and useful, I'm going to say that these two books, the next one I'm going to review especially, are hands down some of the best adva advice you can get in books. In fact, I learned about Franz Barden from studying S. Connolly and reading some of her background information and who she referenced in her writings. And sure enough, Franz, uh, Franz's name was brought up. So having German heritage, I have a great appreciation for him. He is basically the German Aleister Crowley. So if you don't know, look him up. I'm sure you can find... PDFs and stuff with this information if you just don't want to spend the money and you're just interested in it for uh, scholastic reasons, but I think it's worth spending the money and having these books and treasures uh, available to you just because in the next book I'm about to show you, you're going to see just how deep Franz goes. So stay tuned and we got a good one coming by Initiation into Hermetics by Franz Barden. Check it out. It's well worth it. It's a great beginner's training ma manual, and it's something I refer to on the regular for meditation and uh, other preparations. So thank you, friends. Stay tuned.